Hey guys, welcome back to the English Gentleman Gaming with me and Roscoe. Here's some footage of me playing Air Superiority. Badly, um, you'll see. So I just wanted to sort of bring you my impressions, thoughts, whatever you want to call them, on Endgame so far. Uh, they're fairly positive, I've got to be honest. Capture the Flag is different. I don't remember playing Capture the Flag for quite... Well, I have played, played Capture the Flag before, but not for a long time. It's quite bonkers. Um, you know, to be successful, you've got to defend your own flag and attack the opposing flag at the same time. Um, obviously, if you're in a team on a team full of random people, um, especially playing in Europe, the chances are the people you're playing with don't speak English. It can be quite difficult trying to coordinate, or virtually impossible, basically, to coordinate um, any sort of defence or attack. Um, but it's good fun. Uh, I finally managed to win a round. I think it took me 10 attempts to actually win a round. If you're wondering why I'm not using heat seeking missiles, because um, I don't have any, basically. Uh, I have to, My skill level is so low in planes and helicopters. There we go, it's about to dive into the ground there. Oh, I managed, to, I was on 55% then, and I still got, I, I was killed by someone else. I have yet to kill anyone in a plane. My only observation I would say about air superiority, I don't. I'm not disliking it, I don't have a great amount of fun playing it, but one thing I would say is I've, I've got two weapon unlocks already playing it, just by capturing flags, so there is that point that it, you can level up your plane's ability for other things, like the one that springs to mind would be Caspian Border Rush, where you can get planes, so that would actually make me a more potent force playing on that map. Um, so far I think I've died 15 times, and I've yet to register, I think I've not... I've had one hit marker, I think, and one. I did unlock a missile later, and uh, there we go, killed again. Um, yeah, I have unlocked the heat-seeking missiles. I think I got a hit marker, and the best, the closest I've got to killing someone was I got a destroyed vehicle, 50 points. I'm not quite sure you destroy a vehicle and not kill the person that's in it, considering they can't eject. But anyway, that's another story. Um, I have. I've only briefly tried the rush mode on this, so I don't know where all of the the uh, MCOMs are, but I suspect without checking that Rush will be fairly similar just on the newer maps. I don't know how well placed or not as the case may be the MCOMs are. I will endeavour to play some more Rush mode on that score. But Capture the Flag I'm having a lot of fun. It's it's interesting, it's basically it strikes me as being a bit like Conquest in as much as you have to expect enemies everywhere and um, your own spawn point isn't an area of strength because you'll have certain squads on your team spawning in your enemy's um, location I've just unlocked the heat seeking missiles that's how piss poor I am at this game or certainly in planes anyway yeah there would be occasions where entire squads will be spawning right next to you from the from the enemies the your spawn area isn't protected by or whatever you want to call it a no fly zone like it is in rush mode you can't you can be spawn camped basically but then again you can do it to them so if you've got one of your lads is playing as a recon, you can get oh not sure, just got out of that one. You can um get a spawn beacon down and you can continually spawn in their area. So it the tactics wise, you know, it throws everything to the wind basically. It's pretty much like conquest in because there's players everywhere. Um get we're getting hammered here, aren't we? Uh, getting the flags back is interesting. I'm gonna put a little tips video up on that because it was quite confusing for me exactly how you score points and stuff like that so as we're seeing how few weapons I've actually got for the plane and um, overall I am impressed by end game it's a good final effort I think the DLCs overall have been pretty good I'm not sure if I had the benefit of hindsight whether I pay for the premium thing because I probably would have left armored kill on the shelf to be honest um, I enjoyed close quarters I still do I like conquest domination back to car and just, mm, some, it always comes down to the fact that if you've got two well balanced teams, any map is good fun. Um, if you've got crap, if you've got one crap team and one good team, it's no fun. Whether you're being steamrolled or the one giving out the ass whooping, it's no fun. So back to Carcan, maybe mm, I'm not sure about that. Whether I'd have spent seven or eight quid on it, I don't know. Um, I probably would have bought it, but definitely I would kill would have left on the shelf. Um, Aftermath was good. The rush mode in uh, Aftermath is excellent. 
um, I thought. Scavenger mode is a good twist. I thought that was very good. I like to see the fact that dice, you know, are pushing the different game game types, whereas you know, I feel other FPS games kind of don't necessarily push the bow out. I mean, I don't know, Killzone three I like the way they I like the way Killzone approach matches where you get game different game types in a single round. I like that. Um, but that's just me. So anyway, overall I'm liking Endgame. I mean it's not a bad way to sign off for a game. You know I remember I mean I realised last night when I fired this up that you know this game was actually released in two thousand eleven so you know it's getting on for eighteen months old now. There's still graphical issues with it, you know, textures popping up right in front of you and stuff but that I put down to the fact that this game was that guy. I don't know who even, even who killed me. Um, I put that down. Oh, I must have bumped into someone. I put that down to uh, the fact this is a PC game first and foremost, and it's ported over to the PS3. So the limitations of the PS3 and Xbox mean that there are going to be issues with texture popping and getting stuck on small bits of scenery. But anyway, um, I will do a tips video soon, guys, for Endgame. A few pointers for those who haven't played Capture the Flag. And I'll uh, catch up with you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.